Hi, today I want to share my story with you on how I left Islam and how I, now I believe with all my heart that Jesus Christ is my Lord and Saviour. I grew up in a very abusive environment. I was living with a family that was very, very strict in terms of following Islam and I was basically abused on a daily basis and at some point in my life I decided to escape and eventually I was able to run away and find myself a place to live in by myself. I've got a younger sister who was living with my family at the time and she was going exactly through the same thing and because she was underage she was taking for my family by Department of Community Services and placed under foster care. Throughout my whole life I've been experiencing demonic attacks. So I'd be waking up in the middle of the night and I feel like there's someone there choking me. I can't breathe. Or I feel like someone there stabbing me with a knife. I feel the pain and all sorts of paranormal activities you can think of. Doors slamming at night. I hear someone breathing next to me. It was absolutely terrifying. And at some point, I couldn't take it anymore, so I had to go out and look for help. And I've brought in a lot of people into my house. I've spoken to a lot of people from different religions, from all sorts of, from all different walks of life, everything you can think of, and no one could help me. I, I brought in a sheikh um, to, to see if he could help me. He couldn't do anything. And one day, I... I spoke to one of my friends who was Christian and I told him about everything that was happening in my house and especially um, with my sister that used to come and stay over at my place occasionally and eventually I was able to become her foster parent. She moved in with me. We are both going through exactly the same thing. And the Christian man came into my house and he started to pray in the name of Jesus Christ and as soon as he commands every evil spirit to leave in the name of Jesus Christ you could feel the peace you could feel the power of the name of Jesus Christ and something in there just moved me from the inside that just I can't explain it. It's it's so powerful. It's it's his his name is incredibly powerful, and everything would just run. So when when that happened, and 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 me and my sister started to notice a difference whenever we um, ask these evil spirits to leave in the name of Jesus Christ, they would leave. So we knew there was something there, something very special. So. Um, eventually my friend invited me to go to Bible studies and me and my younger sister started to go to Bible studies and trying to learn about Jesus and even though the, the, the teacher there was really good at explaining things still everything was like foreign language to me the remissions of sins, salvations, the Jesus dying and rising again for us because he loves us I still didn't understand what it was all about. A um, um, few months later, my younger sister was in a state of terror. She was terrified. Um, one day I see her sitting there by herself and not speaking, completely in, in a state of shock. And I tried to ask her to tell me what's happened and she wouldn't talk. And eventually, after spending hours with her, convincing her that she could tell me anything, and I'm her older sister, I can handle, I can handle things. Eventually, she was able to tell me that those evil spirits, they've been attacking her, especially at night, telling her not to bring this man into the house, referring to our Christian friend. Um, otherwise, they will hurt her and me. They will hurt both of us. And... When I heard that, I called my friend in the middle of the night and I asked him to come over. He came over to my house and my sister told him everything. And 
in that moment I knew in my heart that they were terrified of of Jesus so I made a decision that night I said to him baptize me and I asked him to baptize me there in my house so I filled my bath up with water and I asked him I don't care what it takes I don't care what this is all about I just do it baptize me right now in the name of Jesus so I got baptized and my, my younger sister got baptized too and um, we started to go to Bible studies and trying to learn more about Jesus and at, at some point I was still in a state of confusion thinking really there's no difference between the two religions I mean if I need something or if I feel like that there's some evil spirits in my house I would just call on Jesus name and I'll be fine so I stopped going to Bible studies I've, I've stopped praying and I went over time I went through tribulations and when I say tribulations I mean hell on earth I've lost everything I anything you can think of I've lost my job my house my younger sister left I've lost absolutely everything and I reached the point of suicidal I was thinking to kill myself and I picked a day and I said today I'm gonna end my life and I was heading out to the pub to get drunk so I could just kill myself and not feel any more pain and as I'm walking on the street I felt like there's this invisible power that stopped me there I can't explain it in words it was just this power that someone there standing and stopping me from going there and, and sort of pulled my face to look towards that direction where once I turned around and looked there was a church there and I knew there Jesus was calling me and I remember going there and it was a Korean church they they prayed in their own language I couldn't understand a word but I knew that Jesus was pulling me into the church he was saying to me come to me and I'll take everything away from you and I walked in and sitting there for 10 minutes in a lot of pain I walked out I couldn't take it and I cried I said to him I don't think you can help me the glass is already broken and then I went back home and as I'm walking back home crying I got very angry I started screaming at him I was looking at this guy and shouting at him saying to him horrible things asking him how could you say that you're my father how could you sit there and say that you're there and you love us and you're looking at me right now and I'm in a lot of pain how could you just sit there and do nothing what's the point they say you died for us you were crucified for us and I am feeling like I am being crucified right now I said a lot of hurtful things to him and when I got home I just broke down and I went on my knees and this is the first time I prayed to Jesus Christ with all my heart I said to him listen Jesus I don't know who you really are but all I know is every time I call your name you help me and I just want to say thank you please help me take this pain away from me and that night I had a dream I, I was walking in darkness I was walking and running and the darkness doesn't end I was in this place where it's completely dark it's like it goes it goes on forever completely dark and as I was running and running and running and it doesn't end I started to scream I screamed Jesus Jesus and screaming really loud and then I hear a voice right next to me someone standing next to me he goes to me you don't have to scream I can hear you and when I turned around 
there was Jesus Christ standing right next to me. And when I'm looking at him, his, when, when you're in front of him, when you're in his presence, he, his magisterial authority he's got, I can't explain it in words. There's this authority, this majesty, this power standing next to me and he's looking at me and he says to me, no need for screaming. Even if you call me in your heart, I'll be there. And he takes my hand and takes me out of that darkness. He takes me into this place where I can't explain what it feels to be in that place. There was just amazing lights that I had to cover my, my eyes and, and put my hand on my face because I couldn't see anything from the brightness. And then when I woke up, I was in a state of awe. I was completely shocked. There is this beautiful thing when, when you see Jesus Christ, there's that amazing love you feel coming out of him. You know he loves you. It's like he tells you, I love you. You just feel it. And at the same time, he is so powerful. He is, oh, I can't explain it in words. And when I had that dream, I knew that in my heart that God cares for me. But I didn't understand why I, I, I saw Jesus. I mean, he, he's not just a prophet. He's not just a man. He looks like a man, but he's not a man. He is the Almighty. I can't put it in words and two days after I had my vision of Jesus Christ my father called me my father was was overseas on holidays he came back and I got a phone call from him and dad spoke to me on the phone and at that point I, I knew there's I wanted to belong to, to Jesus I wanted to walk away from everything and he is my Lord and I spoke to my dad on the phone and I was really, really scared. Um, I didn't know how to word it. I didn't know how to tell him and without him getting really angry at me. So I, I didn't know even what they do at church. I didn't know much about Christianity. All I said to my dad was, Dad, I went to church because it's Easter and because I wanted to give chocolate. Because I, I assumed that people would give chocolate. It's Easter. And my dad is very, very smart. He, he said to me, listen, darling, I know you've become Christian. It's okay. I love you. No matter what you do, you're my daughter. And I love you with all my heart and I support you all the way. And then he sobbed. He was crying on the phone. And he said to me, I just want to see you, my sweetheart. Please, come over my place. Let's catch up. I want to see you. I want to hug you. And my heart broke. And I said to him, okay, Dad, I will come and see you soon. And as I hung up on the phone with my dad, I had that, the same powerful, the powerful being that's trying to stop me from going. It's like a hand on my chest telling me, stop, don't go. And I didn't know whether it was from God or whether it was my uh, something else. I didn't know what it was, so, but it was so powerful. It's like someone saying to me, don't go. And I went on my knees and I cried. I said to him, Jesus, I call on your name. Please tell me, is this from you? Are you saying to me, don't go? Are you warning me? Or is it just my own thoughts or, or is it something else? Please tell me. That night, I had a dream. I saw my mum's funeral. I saw that my mum was going to die. And then I saw my dad paying someone to behead me. When I woke up the next morning, I thought it was, I was just hallucinating. And I get ready to go to work. And just before I get to the office, I got a text message. Mum passed away. And then two days later, the police come to my place and they immediately take me to the police station and say to me, there's murder allegations. Your father possibly paid someone to behead you. You need to come and get you right now. 
So they come and take me to the police station and they, they show me the statements how my dad planned to kill me and it was matching, exactly matching my dream. So I go home and that was God showing me will I forgive? He's teaching me how to forgive. It was so hard, it was so heartbreaking to know that your own dad would do something like that. And I cried and I said, Jesus, I just want to ask you for a favour. I don't care if you're going to kill me because I believe in you. I don't care because I know you are the real deal and I know how much you love me. I just want to ask you for a favour. Can you please just change? Can you please change way back? They want to kill me. Can you give me a peaceful death? Can you can you give me something else? I don't mind dying. I, I don't mind dying with a bullet in my head. I don't mind whether I get run over by a car. I don't care if I die being poisoned, just not being beheaded. Please, Lord. That's all I ask of you. And Jesus answered me. He said, He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will abide in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say to the Lord, My refuge and my fortress, and He will deliver you. And there that night, I had to make a choice. I either sit there and be really scared and run away, or believe with all my heart that Jesus Christ is the Almighty Lord and He can save me and can protect me. My family was living 20 minutes away from me and I had to make that choice there. And I made a decision that I will stay where I am and I'm not fearing them. I will not fear death because Jesus says, I will protect you. And He did. Months went by and years and no one dares to come near me and this is something I've struggled with for so long it was the crucifixion of Jesus Christ it always made no sense to me how could God die for you God doesn't die how could he die for you and it was there God showed me how at that moment where I see my own father paying someone to kill me, then I believed that Jesus died for me. Because my real father died for me. He's not the one that's trying to kill me. I can't thank God enough for everything he's done for me. Absolutely. I, I can do absolutely no matter what I do, I can't thank him enough for what he's done. He taught me something. He taught me how to trust in him. And if you really, really trust in God, you are pleasing him. And no matter who you are, no matter where you're from, no matter how bad you've done in the past, the moment you call on Jesus Christ, he's there. And he doesn't care about how bad, how much, you know, how much sins you, you, you've had or, or, how, or how bad or what kind of person you are. The moment you turn to him and say, Jesus, help me, he is faithful and he will help you. I pray that God bless you all and I pray each and every one of you experience the love of the living God because it's the best thing ever. God bless you all.